this is Becky from Patchwork Posse. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple one fold bind with a mitered corner. Great for um, any kind of fabric that you want to showcase the front and the back and not worried about um, having raw edges and like this would be great for fleece or minky or, um, or faux leather. So anyways, that's what we're going to work on today. Okay, so first we've got our fabric right here. It's a faux leather and it has um, this fur, a faux fur on the back side, which is just awesome. This is perfect for a little snuggly and the size that I have is just right for um, a doll quilt. So as you can see, I've already started one part of the side, but um, just thought I would show you how I do this. Because it is a raw edge, um, and it's faux fur, and it's faux leather, really it's not going to be fraying anything. The fur might come off a couple, a little bit um, when you first use it, but other, uh, other than that it should be fine. So first of all you just need to determine how wide you want to go um, onto the other side. Now I could have I chosen to do pull fold the faux leather over to the fur side would have been a different look so it would have been more finished on the one side and then a hem on the other but I decided to pull the fur over to the leather side so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna figure out how far you want to um, or how deep you want your hem to be and then always when you start sewing you'll want to do a quick little um, reverse stitch to lock your stitch in so you don't pull out. I didn't make any adjustments um, on the stitch. I do have a, a number three on the stitch length so it's just a little bit longer because you are going through um, thicker material. You can use the guides along your sewing machine and the um, measuring tape if you have one on your on your sewing machine front. Now as we get to the corner I wanted to show you how I deal with going in the corner. So I'm going to stop and give myself enough space. What I'm going to do is pull this corner in just as far as what my hem is. And then after, so here's my corner fold it in and it goes to the height of what my hem is and then I can fold the hem back over and this bottom hem is just going to follow that as well with the same length now I've got you can't see it because of the faux fur but it is a nice miter corner when you get to the corner go a little slower and make sure your needle catches one edge of the following hem Leave your needle in the down position with your feet, with your presser foot was up to turn it. After you've got it um, lined back up again, then just continue stitching. So there we go, a simple single fold hem with a miter corner. <laughs> 